Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I am and have been in love with the, gra the grand dame of all floristry herself, Constance Bry, since I was a little baby junior. She was amazing. She was the one that said, the difference between a flower and a weed is just an opinion. I love that she, she just used anything and everything that she thought was visually lovely to the eye. And I think that as we've gone through, you know, from the, and she was very popular in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 60s. And what she did was she spiked an interest in floral art. She wrote many, many books, and I've just about managed to track them all down. And it's just such a treat to look at the designs and how she constructed them and how she put them together and what she put together. So as we've walked away into this, like, this new age of floristry and floral design and design and all the rest of it. I think that sometimes it's really good to go back and touch base with how it was. And I think that the Constant Spray designs really need to come back into vogue because they are beautiful. Now she used all interesting containers like this. I love this boat shaped container, but it is quite difficult to put things in. You could put a few like dahlias into there or some rhododendrons or camellias. But let's just look at how could we use something like the butterfly hydrangeas, one big hydrangea, a couple of little roses, a little bit of eucalyptus, we might use that, I don't know if we will or not, and let's just either fresh or artificial, but combine the fresh with the artificial to just give it a little bit of a boost. Now, interesting th issue with the inside of this container, it's not a very wide container you can't jam it with very much but what you can do is you can use this stuff here which is chicken mesh or florist this you can buy the proper stuff that's all coated but I just use the chicken mesh that's just like lying around I've got lots and lots and lots of this now you've got to be careful that you just don't put too much in because what we're actually going to be doing is it's got to hold it but we've also got to get the stems through into there so you have to be mindful of exactly how much mesh you're going to use now I think that I might be able to get away with this and the other thing I've done here is I've just got this little wee hooky bit here and I'm just going to just bring a bit over the sides just to hold it in place and hopefully I can cover it with leaves. Now first things first, let's look at, oh I know what I didn't do and I've just got to go and get it one moment. I left these on the kitchen table and I need them for because I'm going to cut the wires. Right let's just look at creating a base and I've got a few leaves here and I'm just going to put these fatsier leaves into here and look at that already I've got a story that's starting to happen just by putting in two leaves now I've only got two leaves in this stage but I just feel like I might like to just bring in another one and I'm just going to bring that to there so I've got the one there and then these two down here now to achieve the right height this or the right length and remember the general rule of thumb is one and a half times the height or the width of the container whichever is the greater. Now I look at this and I know that I can go out. I can't, I can't go up very much because uh, well it's just going to look wrong isn't it? That big long thing and that. So I can go out. When I say one and a half times what I actually mean is just laying it down like that and then if I cut that off to there, by the time that goes into there, that will be my one and a half times from the middle out or thereabouts. If you don't want to do that, just lay it down like I'm doing here. I'm just going to cut that bit off. Lay it down and just carefully put that into there. Now you can lay it down or you can bring it up. When I look at the outside of this, the the container. I can actually bring that up if I want to or I can lie it down but I think that by bringing that flower up the line, the contour, the line of the container actually means that it sweeps up like so and it's sort of like the, it finished, the design finishes about there. Now I cut that much off so let's just 
repeat and cut the same amount of. Because the container isn't very big, we do have to be careful that we don't overload it and make it too heavy because it could tip over. But look how interesting this is looking, just with some lovely leaves, we've got these two here, which means that we've got the space in the middle for doing something. Now, I want to put in this hydrangea. Hydrangea needs to be short because, and we've only got one of these. So just by bringing that in to there, like so, the eye hits the container and it comes up and it drifts around that beautiful white specimen hydrangea. Fabulous. Now, we have got some roses. What will we do with the roses? Now I've got something, this is quite small this one, so why don't we just bring that up and into there so that now we're just diffusing that heavy weight there. Let's get the other one, cut that quite short. Uh, hold on, this is doing this because it's not wide enough. Right, get, it, get off there please. Now, I've. where will I put this? Will I put this coming out there or Will I put it into there? I think I want to put that into there for the simple reason that this is big. And visually, those together sort of start to break up that heavy weight there. Might not want to put it there for all the time, I don't know yet. Now let's look at adding in another texture. Just a little bit of eucalyptus round the back there to hide those the workings. And I think, I need to bring in just a few little snippety bits down into the front now just to give it a little bit more movement. Oops, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you've got to be careful when you're working with this wire that you don't get yourself all sort of like with that. Hold on, see? Now see how I'm having issues with that? Because in here, there's too much of that, the wire's too thick for the little, it's not um, neat enough for me to get a little bit of foliage into that. So just strip your foliage back and then just poke that into there like that. Ah, better. Look at that. Easy design, beautiful for a coffee table, a buffet or just to sit and look at. You don't need lots of flowers, you ask for designs that weren't too big, so I hope I am satisfying the desires of those who help. I hope you've enjoyed this, I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you again another day. Bye for now.